Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and uh, first off, I'm sorry for calling this video Chick Skills. It's intentionally pro provocative to get some extra hits. So, sewing. I wanted to talk about uh, the skills that people, or guys, probably usually pass over a little bit. You know, there's the, the guns and the ammunition and trapping and everything like that. But there's a lot of skills that some people refer to as chick skills, women's skills, that are pretty frickin' important. One of them I think is sewing. Right now I'm uh, sewing up a tear that uh, happened in this pillow right here. All the insides were all coming out. And uh, sewing is a skill that is is really useful, but it's not sexy. It's not uh, adrenaline filled. I remember I was watching uh, Lord of the Rings several years ago, and uh, I don't know if, you, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, but there's all these scenes where the uh, the orcs are all forging the swords and the and the helmets and the shields and everything, and they're pounding and and there's uh, sparks going everywhere and there's lava and and it's blood and there's sweat and everything. And, uh, you know, they're, they're putting together all these, uh, these tools of war for the army. And uh, later on you see the, uh, the Urukai, and uh, they're advancing on uh, Helm's Deep. And they got all these flags, and the flags have, like, the white hand of Saruman on them. And uh, I always joke that, uh, you know, while there were all these orcs forging metal implements and, and whacking and... Uh, you know the, the molten metal down in their in their caves. There were also uh, orcs in there that must have been because they got them from somewhere. That must have been sewing the uh, sewing the flags that had the white hand of Saruman on them. And the orcs were all like ah ah yeah bang bang you know and uh, you know <laughs> I always got a joke. You know were, was there a, like a cave full of seamstresses that was all going ah. Thread in, thread out, ah! You know. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not very macho, it's not very sexy, but it's a totally useful skill. And there's other skills like that. You know, like uh you know, cooking and stuff that people traditionally think of as as being women's skills, and I think that's that's kinda lame, and I guess it comes down to uh there are a lot of skills that because they're not macho, people don't tend to focus on. And when I say people, I mean dudes. And sewing is a really useful skill to have. And the reason that it's useful is because if you get a rip in your clothes, it's not just that you get a little chilly, but rips tend to uh, to run. And if you get a rip that's running, you know, eventually your pants are pretty much falling off of you. But my point is, is that just because a skill is not all macho and sexy doesn't mean that it's not good for SHTF purposes. And sewing is a really useful skill. Cooking is also a really useful skill. But at the moment, I'm sewing. And it's a really easy one to learn. Really, all you're doing is you're putting a needle with thread through your cloth, and you come around the other side, and you've got your little folded piece of cloth you want to sew together, and you put another little needle through and pull it through and then you do it again and if you want to tighten it up sometimes you'll take the needle and put it through the loop like that make a little knot in there usually I'll do two knots back to back just to uh, strengthen it up and that uses a little bit of extra thread how strong are you in your chick skills if you're a dude and I suppose, conversely, how strong are you in your dude skills if you're a chick? And I, I think people tend to oftentimes pigeonhole themselves. They focus on the things that, you know, kind of appeal to their gender or what their perception of their gender is supposed to be. But there are an awful lot of skills, especially if you think of yourself as a lone fucking wolf, which I think is totally bogus. But if you want to think of yourself as a, a lone wolf, you better be good at sewing. Because shit rips. 
and it's good to be able to put that back together. And this is kind of like a lame, boring video. But that's the point. Because a lot about prepping, it's not particularly exciting. A lot of, you know, what we have to look forward to, if anything ever did hit the fan, is long periods of boredom punctuated by brief periods of horror. So you appreciate the periods of boredom when you have them. So that's it. Do, do you feel like you have your... non-macho prepping skills all in order? Have you been focusing mostly on you know, getting the right red dot sight for your AR-15? Or are you doing the other things too? Learning how to cook learning how to sew stuff. You know, even if you have a wife or a girlfriend or someone that is proficient in that, or another guy that you prep with that is proficient in that, it's good to know how to do this stuff on your own as well. It's kind of relaxing too. So what do you think? Should we divide up all the labor and all the women do all the women's skills and the guys do all the guy skills, or should we kind of diversify everything? And, uh, and be sort of renaissance men where we can do the field stripping of an AR-15 and then go home and sew up a pillowcase or a tear in your jeans or whatever to make stuff, uh, to make stuff last longer because you can't run out when you got torn up clothes during SHTF and necessarily buy a new pair. you got to make stuff last. Do you have needles? Do you have thread? Have you thought about those things? They're not sexy. They're not macho. But they're pretty freaking helpful. If I didn't have a needle and thread right now, all the stuffing of this pillowcase would be fluffing out in the middle of the night, asphyxiating me. It's full of camet. I think camet? Is that a grain? I don't know what the hell. Amber bought this as some kind of a, a fluffy, renewable resource kind of tree bark that she filled it with. It's actually really, it's really super soft. It's a nice pillowcase. You can sleep well on this. It's the soft skills that count. What do you think? Is this stupid? Is this just me, you know, going off saying that, like, guys should uh, feminize themselves and women should masculinize themselves? Or is this a good idea that people should really diversify and be good at all the different uh, sort of uh, sort of roles, even if it's not something that traditionally fits into their, their gender profile. Thanks for watching.